last three problems on uh, P, or excuse me, last four problems on P46. So let's get right to it. Number three, Mr. Nolan's code for his ATM card is a four digit number. The digits of the code are prime factors of 84 listed from least to greatest. What is the code Mr. for Mr. Nolan's ATM card? Okay, so what we need to do is find the prime factorization of 84. Prime factorization means we need a factor tree. Uh, we start with 2. 2 times what is 84? It's going to be 42. Circle the prime numbers and continue on. And I'll let you finish out that factor tree. Once you get all your uh, prime factors, you're going to list them in order from least to greatest. So since there's two twos, it's going to be two two. And then what else? I'll let you finish that one on your own. If you have any questions, though, of course, raise your hand. Okay, number four. Over a four-year period, a tree grew 2.62 feet. If the tree goes, grows at a constant rate, how many feet did the tree grow each year? Constant rate means the same every year. Uh, for how many years? Four years. So we need to take 2.62, the height of the tree now, and divide it by the total number of years to find out how much it grew in one year. So remember here, you if you have a decimal on the outside of the division problem, you have to move the decimal over till, the, till it goes away, meaning behind the number. So you got to move it over twice. And then inside, there's always a decimal behind any whole number. You have to move it over twice on the inside as well and add zero placeholders. So your decimal is going to go straight up, right, uh, behind the zero in the ones place. And this decimal we moved behind the two. So now you're, um, you're doing 262 into 400. And I'll let you do that division. Again, if you need help, raise your hand after I've gotten you started on the, with the videos. Omarion has nine-tenths of the pages in his book remaining to read for school. He reads two-thirds of the remaining pages over the weekend. What fraction of the book does Omarion read over the weekend? So, he has nine-tenths, and uh, he read two-thirds of that. So what we need to figure out here is um, two-thirds of nine-tenths. That of is our keyword for multiplying. So we're going to be multiplying these two numbers. I'll let you cross simplify and finish that multiplication. Number six, Marianne has five-eighths pounds of peas. She cooks two-thirds of those peas for five people. If each person is served an equal amount, how much peas did each person get? Okay. So, first we have a few things we need to do here. She starts out with five-eighths pounds. She cooks two-thirds of those peas, two-thirds of them. So we need to multiply how much she has times how much she's cooking, two-thirds. You can cross-simplify. You're going to get this answer. Once you have this answer, you have to take that answer, whatever it may be, I'm going to let you do the work on that, and then you're going to have to split it amongst five people. Whenever you're splitting something up amongst people and they're all getting an equal amount, that's another key word there, that means you're going to be dividing by how many people there are, and then this number will be your final answer. All right, again, uh, if you have any questions, Please raise your hand and uh, see me. Thank you.